Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear wonderful listeners and friends from around the world. Thank you so much for stopping by, and thank you for always being there. God bless you in Jesus' name. I quickly want to encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. The Anambra State government has threatened not to pay August salaries to any worker who abstains from work on Monday in obedience to the sit-at-home order by the prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Hmm, okay, this is serious. This is contained in a public announcement by the head of service, Barrister Harry Udu, on Sunday. IPOB had on July the 30th ordered a seat at home in the southeast every Monday until Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, is released from the custody of the Department of State Services, the DSS. IPOP said that the lockdown tagged Ghost Monday will also affect schools and marketplaces. IPOP threatened to shut down economic activities in the region, adding that violators of the order would be visited. Reacting to the order, the state head of service, Udu, said the government of Anambra State has directed that all workers in the state must attend to their duties on Monday the 9th of August 2021, as failure to do so will result in severe sanctions, including loss of salary for the month of August. All Honorable Commissioners and Permanent Secretaries are to monitor and report compliance, he said. Please kindly give this information the widest publicity in your establishment, the letter said. All right, guys, this is a very, very serious one. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? What do you think is going on in the Southeast? The Anambra State government has threatened workers who obey the sit-at-home order. This is another dimension to it. Why would they threaten them? with the salaries of August if they do not. There was similar threat that came during the um, the May 30th um, Biafra Day that was declared by IPOP, a total sit-at-home day. And um, at some point, and uh, almost towards the, 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 the DD, the Southeast government had to you know, renege and uh, join in solidarity to, um, you know, declare May 30th the free working day for the people of the Southeast. Now, this has to do with Namdekano and the governors in the Southeast, from all indication, seem not to want to entertain any sit at home order by IPO. Could it be because it's not coming from Nam the Kano itself? But if anything, any order that comes from IPOP, I believe should be regarded as coming from Nam the Kano as well. So that what will be the consequences to this action? Do you think that Anambra State government will carry out this threat, or this is just an initial threat the way they always um, quick uh, rush to the uh, media to give a a, a directive just to counter IPOB as well, but at the end of the day, they fall back to accepting what IPOB has declared. Well, I don't know. I stand to be corrected, but um, to a very large extent, one would want to um, imagine that. Is it actually 
what denying the people or workers their salary, I don't think it is. And I don't think it will even happen. Don't forget that Nanda Kano has one of the highest followers in the world. And from the look of things, people, uh, a lot of people tend to obey Namdekano than they obey any government in Nigeria. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but it is a feeling and an, and an opinion. I feel and I think that Namdekano has the highest level of followers in the country today, even in Africa, possibly. What would happen? Tomorrow is the DD. You know, from the look of things, the Southeast would be under intense pressure. You know, that probably will be coming from security agents and all that and all that. There have been threats here and there by government agencies, security agencies and other people on dealing with people who are caught trying to enforce the sit-at-home order. But beyond that, there is still a lot that needs to be seen, said, and understood. Are they going to renege and have a, make a U-turn like they did during the May 30th? Or are they going to stick with their threats of um, withholding the salaries of workers? Would it be justifiable? Are they ready for the consequences of holding salaries workers because of a sit at home order? Well, I stand to be corrected. If I'm wrong, I think the answer is no. But be then, as it were, we will see how things unfold. From the look of things, IPOB does not seem to be ready to back down in any way. IPOB in any way does not seem to be ready to back down. IPOB is interested in ensuring that they carry out their whatever it is that they have declared or they have said. So whatever declaration IPOP has made, they are ready to back it up and follow it till the end. But we keep our fingers crossed to see if that will be the case in this particular situation. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Please, I'd like to know what you feel, what you think, and what your thoughts are. Kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you. And bye for now.